Hi everyone, this is Daniel Levy. Welcome in this weekly swing trading forex analysis. And we are the 17th of April 2023. So let's start with odd USD. So odd USD for this specific analysis, what do I do? I see that this high has been spiked out, which make me qualify to put two level here around this untouched zone of supply and the candle will make the low. So those are for the two buy side. And then for the sell side, I would assume that this is a downtrend on the weekly, taking out this low. And then I take a level past the 50% retracement Fibonacci. And this level seems to be the best there, the first one. Now price is like uh, retracing in like a channel. There is multiple touch, there is double top there. So there is a lot of liquidity above those high right here and this high right here, which makes me believe that if the price go above that, we might see a nice rejection from here. From the volume at price perspective, we can also see there is a very clean valley right here and another one here. So those are my two level basically for a sell from the weekly chart. I use the volume at price clean valley on all the chart. I will not place the volume at price everywhere, but that's the way it works. Now, last week we had a very huge rejection of this top, taking the liquidity of this high. So there is still a possibility that the price just fall from there. And if it goes, then it's fine. But we can see right there that there is like a double top situation. So a lot of liquidity above it. Odd CAD. So OTCAD, the daily is a bit messy, but still uh, price was able to retrace and reject the 20 MA. So I had a strong level of supply and demand, uh, sorry, support and resistance plus the 200 EMA just here. That's why I would eventually think that the price might eventually reject this zone. And if it would break, since the weekly move is from here to here, uh, I would expect the top of the weekly move right here with 800 EMA, eight, yeah, on the daily, to hold. And on the weekly, so it looks like we are in downtrend. This low has been taken out right here. So it will follow the weekly trend. Though on the monthly, we are cleanly with an impulsive up move. That's also why I expect this very huge level of support on the weekly. This is a strong, strong, strong level of support here, plus a supply and demand zone right here to hold. And I would like to buy there. Same principle. I would take those trade during, um, during London and New York when there is more liquidity in the market, expecting a break of structure there. Odd CHF, so this one is pretty clean. We have a beautiful daily impulse going down. And we are at the big round number right now, where the price is right now. So I would expect the price eventually to retrace. And if it would, uh, any of those three level would be a good opportunity for a sell. So yeah, those are very nice level of support and resistance plus supply and demand, as we can see, untouched here. Odd New Zealand. So odd New Zealand, we have a break of structure happening last week on the daily right here. This broke and close above, OK? Uh, not close above, but break it. This move was pretty impulse going down right there, but it break above. So right now, what we have, we have a drop base rally, a clean one on the daily. That's why I have eventually this level of support multiple time here as a support for a buy opportunity. And on the sell side, there is this untouched zone of supply right here, plus a round number, plus the 200 EMA. So this makes it enough confidence for me to expect uh, a day trading reversal here. Now, when we look at the daily, the daily is a bit... Um, messy there was this swing able to make a new high break in this one and price was not able to break below this but the price is very strong and impressive going down which makes me think that we might see a nice move downward and we did right there 
but now we have a nice impressive move candlestick from the weekly going up. It's a bullish angle thing here. So the buy seems to be, uh, according to the trend, the best opportunity. And on the sell side, since this last move from here to here was quite impressive, I have two strong level of resistance, support and resistance here, based on the volume at price as well, plus the 50 EMA on the weekly. Yeah. So multiple chance, some for buy, some for sell. And there is 800 EMA on the forward chart, so it's an additional confirmation for a sell. Odd yen. So odd yen, we have a weekly beautiful impulse going down like a lot of yen pair, creating a new low, breaking this one. On the monthly, we had an uptrend, okay? And it didn't reach this zone of demand plus the 200 DMA. So it makes me believe there is still room on the downside, especially with this beautiful bearish angle thing right there, a beautiful big candle, untouched, untapped. And there is the EMA just above that plus uh, multiple double top, as we can see on the daily. There is a double top here, so a lot of liquidity. So I would expect the price to take the liquidity up, touch the 200 EMA on the daily, and then fall back more. And since the daily, it's like a micro uptrend, I have also this zone of demand right here for a daily buy, multiple rejection as a support as well. This is a huge zone, that's why it's there support and resistance. So I have a sell and a buy here. Both of them are high probability. Your odd, so your odd, we rejected a weekly strong level of resistance right here. This is a huge zone, but because this high created this low and after for furthermore, a new trend going down. So this high is significant, and it was rejected with a beautiful angle thing candle on the forward chart last week, as we can see here. So it's maybe a little bit lower probability because price might eventually spike the high right here. But I would expect this, you know, uh, base uh, rally, base drop, it's a supply zone to hold for this week. That's why I have my alert here and my level is still there because it's a strong weekly level of resistance. And the trend on the four hour was broken down, okay? So this is a good chance for, for us, I think, to sell, but I will need a, a strong confirmation. And then after that, there is a nice level for here for a buy because the daily candlestick is pretty impressive going up. So the retracement in this zone makes sense. It's an old level of resistance and transforming into support here and come back here. If this zone would fail, then there is a second zone right here. On the forward chart, it's a demand zone. Here we go. GBP yen. Uh, odd, sorry. So GBP odd, <clears throat> we were on the daily with an impressive move going up and now price retrace, touch the 20 EMA and rejected the EMA with the 15 minute chart, very impressive going up. That's why I have this little zone right here. And I will just wait to see what happened today there. But the best opportunity would be for me with this support and demand zone right here for a buy. And on the sell side, the strongest level of resistance is with this weekly resistance here, plus the 800 EMA and the round number here. And it's also like uh, the big candle who made the high going all the way down. So I guess on the weekly, I could add a level a little bit below right there. Add the opening of this candle who made the high, because this is a strong level as well. So from this zone, we might have a nice opportunity for a sell, but it's very far from it. Which makes me believe the price will continue to, to rise up, especially with a daily impressive making a new high. You know, the old high on the daily was here and it made the new high quite significantly above. So this would make sense for a, a continuation of this daily trend. Plus the daily candle who impressed the bottom here is very strong. So maybe we will have a fake on this 20 MA. Maybe it will get a little bit lower, but after that, I would expect buy and it's Monday so Monday you know there is a lot of trap moves during Monday that's why this level makes a lot of sense on GBP odd now CAD yen 
Okay, so KDN, we have a weekly impulsive move going down from here, all the way down to here, but it rejected the previous low with a very significant spike and then an angle thing, and then price is flying up. And the, the move that goes up is very impulsive, very strong. Now we had the retracement and now we have a second impulsive move going up. That's why I have those level for buy right here and right here in an inefficiency here, like fair value gap here and a strong level of support and reason for sure from the weekly. And then the, this like rally base rally here for buy. So following the daily trend, the daily would seem to be up. Then the weekly is down. That's why I have still this level for a sell right there. And the candle made the high. The last candle against the move was right here. So that's where the price is at right now. Now let's put the volume at price. So the volume at price, we see we have a high volume on the daily right here. Where exactly is the price right now? This is a very, very big spike in volume. And on the weekly, we have the same. This is the zone where is the price right now with this round number just in the middle of it with a very high spike. So there is good chances that the price will reverse from there, okay? And the weekly, <clears throat> the weekly move going now is pretty nicely impulsive and this zone from here to here hasn't been touched yet. So here we go. So we have a nice opportunity for a sell and eventually I could eventually keep a level here because this level really make, makes a lot of sense. But it's happening on Monday, so Monday, be careful about that. And actually it made a new high and broke this high during the Asian hunt zone. Yeah, I will take a trade, but with lower amount, like 0 0.15 times two, so 0.3% of the account basically. So I take three reward on the first, which is right there. That's three reward, which should be attained quite good if it if the setup is really valid. And then the next, we we target the liquidity pool where there is two two highs or two lows aligning, which is there. So this will be my level for a buy, and basically I would expect the trade to take this liquidity out. So a little bit below that, okay? So to show you, this is where you would take your target profit, right here. Taking the liquidity, I mean, maybe a little bit above. Yes, with the spread and everything. So basically I, I risk 0.3% of the account to make you understand. Uh, divided in two positions. One position takes reward and the other position takes the liquidity pool in the move, which is here. And this would make a lot of sense because it's it's a very few retracement there. It's at the 50% retracement, so it will be the imbalance of this upside move there. So yeah, this trade is on, happening just right now. And I would expect the price to reach the, the body of the candle who made the top. That's the entry right here. So if you add the spread to it, then you will go a little bit below that. Okay. Here we go. And there is a huge round number just below that. So it makes it quite nice. And if it doesn't work, there is a level above that for a sell. Now, CAD CHF. So CAT CHF is, um, is very interesting and there is a, a good setup that might form. So we are on the daily chart and the weekly will show a very impulsive move going down from here to here. And then there is like a one top, a double top here. So there is a lot of liquidity just above that. And what do we get just above that? We have a supply zone, you know, a drop, a nice one, a base, one candle only, and then a drop. Additional to that, what I'm studying right now is about the volume at price a little bit in depth. You have a very huge congestion here, which means a lot, a lot of money was spent 
was spent in this zone. And usually when price get out of there, make a real breakout of it with uh, a, a supply and demand zone showing exactly the exit, this is usually very, very strong. So what's happened last week is basically we had an impressive move like some, some weeks ago, making this high, okay? This was impressive, quite strong. And then price retrace there with the candle remains the low right there and then rejected up, made an equal high, I would say, and then break this low, but still rejected this candlestick remains the low, the, the body of it actually. And now it's kind of, it's quite of impressive going up. So what I would expect really this week is eventually this high with the 50 MA to reject, but honestly, I would more expect the price to break this, take the liquidity pool here, and then touch this supply. And then from there, the, the real change in trend will happen, I think, going down. So for now, I think the price will continue to go up. And you see, there was a forward trend going down, has been broken up right there on Friday, closing above it. And we might see the price just continue to go up until this one. I selected this one because there is a huge fair value gap here. You know, there is a huge gap from here to here. So this fair value gap is huge and the price will fill it up for sure. And when it arrives here, it's an untouched zone of supply, this one. And I would really expect the price to have a, some kind of a short-term rejection here which might be good for day trading. You just have to be fast and catch the, the change in trend on the 15 minute chart. CHF yen. So this one broke a lot of stuff last week, a lot of my level as well. It was a, some losing trade there. There was like maybe 50% win rate, uh, but there was, um, actually there was more than that. There was around 60 to 70% win rate last week on the level that I placed. And the level that I placed made on average six reward, five to six reward. And overall, the profile with all the currency pairs made around 50% profit using 0.5% uh, each half of the trade, which is pretty amazing. So here we go. We have on CHF Yen a very beautiful up move, breaking everything on its way. And then going down we have this huge level of support here plus like a supply and demand zone right here like a rally base and rally and we have entered this high broken up so those are three area where the price shows support quite recently and on the forward chart we have area of supply and demand we have a demand zone right here a second right here and then a third right here with the 200 dma on the forward chart so I want to buy going with this specific trend. Now there is a huge round number there. And on the monthly, it's still an uptrend. It's a beautiful uptrend. So he might reject this, this huge round number there. But uh, for a set, it would be a lower probability, especially with a nice impressive move on the daily, like what happened last week. Gold. So gold, we have like a, a compression zone, price to go up, go down, takes the liquidity all the time. So the level where price is at right now is a very strong level of resistance based on this spike and then this weekly level of resistance right here. And it rejected it uh, with a significant uh, four hour chart break in trend. So trend was from here all the way up here and it was broken on Friday. That's why I have eventually a level for a sell here around this huge level of resistance on the weekly. And the target, I would expect the trend to change, but we need to be cautious about it. Uh, so this trade for a sell, you need to, to really have a strong confirmation, maybe a one hour confirmation before you enter. And eventually the trend could change going down. And that's what I would expect for a buy up to this level because it's an untouched zone. C price was really testing all the zone of supply and demand most of the time. So the only zone that is really untouched is this one. And there is a liquidity from this uptrend there. That's why I would expect this one to work. But the other one, not really. 
So here we go. Silver. <clears throat> so silver, we have a nice impulsive move going up right there. And the weekly go from here all the way there in an uptrend. So I have a daily zone of supply right here. This is quite of a solid level. And then I have this last swing low right here, but the rejection was pretty uh, weak, but it's still a very huge level of resistance here, like rejected with pin very strongly three times in a row. So maybe we can have a nice opportunity for a buy still, which still would respect the daily trend actually. And the daily is important as you know, but it's just the candle are quite weak going down. So on the opposite as gold, I, same, uh, I have the same level for a sell here around this level, but same, the sell will be with cautious, with, with caution. Euro USD, so this one was beautiful. It was a beautiful weekly 200 EMA plus a strong level of resistance on the weekly with those two rejection on the line chart weekly right there. And it worked pretty, pretty nicely. And now we have an impressive move going down breaking a little bit this zone of um, demand right there, or the forward trend, if you will, a little bit. So I have a sell, same as gold and silver here, and I have a buy around the daily impulse right here. This is a strong level of support and resistance there. So that will be my target for the sell, and I want to buy around here. Euro. CHF. So this is a four-hour chart, and we can see there is a beautiful impulse going up. Now the daily is quite clean going down, as you can see. We have a clean impressive move going down, rejecting the top. So it might take out this low. So we just wait and see. What I would expect is I have a a huge impulse going up right here. And I would expect this one eventually to hold a little bit. And the candlestick going down are pretty, pretty weak. That's why the price action is in indicating to me. Uh, and on the weekly, we this is a strong level of support. But it still look a little bit lower probably. On the forward chart, we can see we have a flip zone from here and I would expect the stop hunt price to revisit this area. Show me a clean sign of, of buying power, and then eventually I would buy. We were in a trade last week around this low, and this was a winning trade. Yeah. So I will show you. On the 15 minute chart, this happened on Thursday. Uh, it was a perfect uh, pattern. See, there was this high making this low right there. And then this low cannot be taken out and then take out this high right there. When it does, you enter with the candle who made the low right here. And this made a uh, three reward um, in a snap in next morning easily. And then it made five reward a little bit later on. So this trade was a beautiful winning trade. I would still expect this flip zone level right here to give me some chance for a, for a nice real reversal. Because on the price action on the forward, what you can see is there is still this impulsive move going down and price might just trigger the supply zone right here and then fall, then reach for this low. And then from there, I would expect if the market would to, to rise, to rise from there after taking this liquidity. <clears throat> Eurocad. Eurocad, we have a really beautiful move going up from here. Impressive. And this is uh, the zone that I selected is the zone of demand right here. And on the weekly chart, it's a huge level of resistance potentially turning into support. If this zone would break, there is an EMA zone just below it on the weekly. So since the daily is quite nicely in purse, I would expect to, to have a nice, uh, a nice buy there still. And price seems to be breaking the four hour uptrend right now. See, there was this low taken out. So we might see a downtrend the forward chart and then taking the liquidity from this low. 
And then from this space right here, we might see a nice relation. And there is a round number, so it might go to, to fetch the round number at some point. Euro, yen. So the daily is cleanly going up. So we have a, a beautiful volume and price level of support here, resistance, resistance, turning eventually into support because the rejection every time was pretty huge there. And if this wouldn't work, there is a supply zone right here and the candle who made the low basically. So this zone for a buy is pretty huge. Now on the weekly, um, what's the bottom of this candle? The low is 137.348 and this one is 137.50. Three eighty five, which means this is still an uptrend because this is a reference point for the uptrend from here to here. We're still an uptrend. So the level on the top right here, there is a lot of spikes there. Uh, it's a it's a good zone, but it's against the trend. So I would be cautious with this level as a sell. Euro New Zealand. So in this one, price rejected the run number and continue to to go up there was a zone of demand right there and this zone was taken out. So maybe the level is a bit uh, too low, but it will represent the body of this candle. So there is still a chance that the price will reverse next time. And if not, the candle who made the low is this one and it's a strong volume at price level here. So there is an opportunity to buy just below that. Right now, it take out this high. It's quite strong, very impressive going up. So I would really expect this to continue to fly up. And the first zone that I see with those spikes makes sense around the round number right here. I think it will easily touch the round number actually. So maybe I will move my level a little bit above near the round number. That's where I want. And here we go. So price might not retrace right away. It might just continue to follow this uptrend. So nothing much here. Uh, GBP USD. So I was expecting this high to be taken out, taking the liquidity and then fall. And that's exactly what happened. Why I was expecting that? Because on the weekly, there is a 100 EMA there. And on the volume at price, I just put it right now. You can see there is a huge valley right there with a spike in volume there. And this huge valley plus a round number just below makes sense. There is another element I want to show you, which is why I was expecting the price to, to take the liquidity of the last high formed. So we have a strong level of resistance on the weekly as we saw it. And then we see that the price on the first touch made a, a nice, beautiful trade. This was a winning trade. We took it and we win this trade actually. Uh, but the price was pretty slow and weak going down. So I was expecting the price to gain strength, continue the trend, take out the liquidity and then fall. And now the rejection of the level is not slow at all anymore the rejection of the level is strong. And the candle who made the high is this one right here. So I would expect the price to come back to this level, a little bit below what I placed on the profile, and then fall further. If it would retrace, if it doesn't retrace, then we need to wait. Now on the daily, on the daily, I have a strong impressive move from the daily from here all the way here. And this low hasn't been it's an untouched zone. There is liquidity below that. If the trend is changing, we might see this low being taken out, reject the previous low, and then go all the way up, eventually to the round number or the daily uh, low right here. So the retracement might be weaker than what I thought, and it might not retrace to my entry, but it's still fine because on the daily, we have a zone right here. So we can eventually take this one as a reference and check what happened when price will touch again this uh, level there. <clears throat> and we can also see that the uptrend is, is kind of weak here on the daily. There is candle up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So it's a weekly uptrend for sure. 
but it's a pretty slow and weak move, which might indicate that a retracement is on its way and a change in trend from up to down is on its way as well. So I will be looking at those two levels actually, this one and this one for a sell. Early change in trend, and especially if this low is taken out very soon, then this low right here makes sense for a sell. And we will do that with a confirmation. Of course, we don't enter blindly there. GBP, CAD, so nothing changed since last week. The weekly trend is beautifully up from this low to this high. So the daily made already a rejection from this point. Price seems to be tempted to go further because it take out this low. So what I would expect is to find this level of support and resistance uh, to be rejected. There is a huge round number in the middle of it. There is an impressive move and inefficiency. Price never came back to this zone before. So I would expect this for a buy. And if we look at the weekly chart, so the monthly is a downtrend for sure. Uh, we are at the 200 EMA on the weekly, which might mean the price might eventually fall from there. Uh, but the weekly shorter trend make a higher high here, breaking this high, which would give me hope that this low will hold. And if not, there is a level lower than that for buy, following the weekly uptrend. Here we go. And the level is not too strong. On the forward chart, there is an interesting uh, zone of demand to validate the level. You have a nice rise. You have like a two candle stall and then a huge departure from there. So this zone makes a lot of sense. And above that, there is like a, a, double, a double top. Okay, zoom out a bit. So you have this low with liquidity and this low with liquidity. So it takes the liquidity of this one already, and it might go for the second pool of liquidity here, and then touch the round number and boom. That's what I would expect because this high was pretty significantly rejecting this level and hasn't been touched yet. So it might be a good opportunity for a buy, and it doesn't follow the daily trend exactly, but it follows a weekly, which means the order flow is still going up on this pair right now. GBP CHF. So this one uh, looks nice and beautiful because uh, this low initiating a huge move making this high. And this whole move right there, sorry for my drawing, this whole move right here is very impressive going up. So this is very strong. It, for me, it's ins institutional money who made that. Now, it broke this high on the daily and we have a huge support zone here like i don't know maybe 10 times rejecting this area and this will be the line chart level from the swing that made the low as you can see right here this is the line chart level right here so if i were to place eventually the volume at price to make you see clearly on the daily, we don't use, we use the weekly. Bear with me, GBV pair take a lot of memory for the indicator to work. Okay, here we are. So on the weekly, you can see you have a huge fall in price there. That's the only significant level and it happened because there is a lot of support and no candle close below this level. So this is a good zone and we have an impressive move going up right here. And you might not see it because it's not very clean, but there is, is this high creating a new low that has been violated here several times. So this would mean an early change in trend for me. That's why I have this level there. Looks like a high probability setup. And it will happen, I think, today. So cautious. Take a lower size eventually if you enter today. And maybe tomorrow you can enter in a continuation of this rejection if it happened. So we are around the candle who made the low on GBCHF in an impressive move going up. And I would expect this to, to reject more. So I will see what happened later during the day. 
Right now, there is no volume involved. You can see the candle are very little. So I will wait eventually London open. Well, it's GBP, so that's uh, British pound and CHF, everything is in Europe. So if they make a move, they will make it most likely in the afternoon. So nothing to check or worry about this morning uh, for us. Next is GBP yen. So the daily made a new high right here, breaking this high, but it's kind of a weak move going up. Price rejected this level right here with an angle thing. It might continue to fall. Still, since the daily is only full of uh, bullish candle breaking this high, I have this zone of daily supply, I would say, uh, demand, sorry, right here for a buy. And this is confirmed by a weekly zone of support, a huge one from this spike right here and this line chart here and resistance as well. So this is a weekly, very strong level. The daily trend is up. The weekly trend is actually still up from this low, making this new high right there. So we are inside this inefficiency where the price um, didn't reach back here. That's why we might see a retracement there because of this huge candle, bearish one, still powerful. This candle was able to make the price reject downstairs one, two times and three times. So this is a strong move, but the weekly trend is up and price is making higher, higher, higher and higher low. So as long as the price, if price this week would break this high, then the trend is completely confirmed in an uptrend and it might just reach this one very easily after that. So here we go. I have a level for a sell, a bit lower probability, and this, this buy looks still good probability here. GBP, New Zealand. So price rejected the supply zone from here, exactly touch it, and then rejected with an angle thing going down. But it also rejected this demand zone right here, and now it's starting to go up. I have my daily trend go from this low to this high, and the best level of support around it is here, untouched one right here. So I would like to buy around this level. So it's not a very clean uptrend here, but the weekly um, is in an uptrend because this low created this high, breaking those high. So we are in an uptrend, and price is likely to reach this high and eventually just above that to take the liquidity from this high eventually and then touch the uh, supply zone just above it. We might see a, re a rejection from this level, but before that, I, I would expect the price to continue to rise up. That's why I have this level of support. And this le those level of support are combined with those nice level of resistance on the weekly and support. So it's a strong zone. So the short term trend on the four hour look like it's a downtrend, which makes me believe we might see a retracement right now. Price might reach this high, but there is not so much a significant level there. So I will not trade that and continue the downtrend, make a fake taking those, let's say a little bit equal lows here. So liquidity below. And then after that, in this zone, there is a 200 EMA and there is a huge rejection from this spike. So this is a, a new fresh zone of demand here. So I would expect one of this one or this one to reject on the higher side. Following the weekly trend, Euro GBP. So Euro GBP, we are in eventually a downtrend because this move from here impressed this one, creating a new high, and then it was spiked down right here, which means there is still probability that those level of resistance work right here and right here around the top. I just positioned one because on in terms of volume at price, they don't appear so much. Oh yeah, this one appeared here on the daily. It's a bit weaker zone right there. So I place this one because there is a round number right here. There is a valet and that's a candlestick eventually with little range who made the high. And let's look at the weekly. Yeah, on the weekly is this level. The second level I just placed is this one. It's a high volume and there is a nice valley here. So the, the valley 
um, works. So what I want to show you on the weekly is we have an impressive move from this high making this slow, breaking at this slow. So there is still a nice chance for rejection here. Yes. And it's an untouched zone of supply, both of them. See, this supply is untouched and this zone here is untouched as well. New Zealand, USD. I was expecting a level higher to reject but it decided to reject around this zone of supply right there. And it worked very nicely, a nice impressive move going down. So it might just continue to go down. The weekly uh, trend is down because the candle close below this low. So it just follows the downtrend. On the downtrend side, there is a huge level of support right here, plus an inefficiency zone in this candle right here. Now, this move was very impressive going up. So I, I can place eventually two more level on the bottom. The candle made the low and the body of the candle made the low. But this is quite far away, so we'll see. So on the short term, let's look at the daily. I, I didn't place any level inside because we had a daily impressive move from here. It's, it was quite significant actually going there. And then I missed this one, but it retraced to the body of the candle who made the high of this impressive move going down. And I think this level was, was nice on the volume at price as well. So we have a valley on the daily volume at price, which is not the most significant. Let's look at on the, uh, that's not this one, sorry. My bad, here. We have a nice valley on the daily volume at price right here. And now we'll check the weekly. Okay, on the weekly, it's not very visible. There is a high volume right there and there is a, a drop in volume right there. So this level would not have appeared on my chart. That's why it was not there. And it's rejected already. So, so yeah, I would expect the, the trend to continue to go down still there. So we are on the weekly. So I will just put the volume price one more time. And just to show you that there is a huge valley here. So this huge valley make me confirm this level with those two spikes right there. Uh, it's a beautiful level for a buy. And it will follow a very strong impressive move going up, this one. And that took out this high. So the monthly trend might be a little bit changed there. That's why I place this level for buy. Here we go. So now we have an impressive move going down. So likely price will continue to fall until this level. New Zealand cat done. So this is the daily and the daily is really messy, except, except for last Friday, because it made a nice impressive move going down. So if there were like two to three candles going down more, uh, then we, will, we would have a level to check for inside this range for a sell. Now, looking at the weekly chart, that's why I have a lot of level for a buy. We are on the weekly uptrend. A clean one, taking out those high, taking out eventually even this one, this high. So this is like a beautiful impressive move. Every week goes up in this move. It's like a very rare in the market occurrence and price never came back in this zone. So we have a nice level of resistance two time here, just below here. And we have this level of support right here into resistance. When I place the volume at price, we see a huge valley right there and a drop in volume there. That's why I have this level where the price is at right now. Now, with this huge candlestick last week going down, bearish weekly down, uh, I would expect the, the next level to be touched, not this one. And there is eventually a very high volume here. It's a very significant. Uh, this level might be taken out there. I mean, we might see a reversal around this spike in volume. Also, yeah, I will remove the indicator. If we place the Fibonacci based on supply and demand, a smart money concept, you can see that the 50% Fibonacci, half of the retracement is below my level. So uh, the imbalance is really, is really not touched yet. Here we go. So two nice level for a buy. The first one might not work, even if on the weekly it's very significant. It looks like an old level. 
So I would want to buy just below here. And the trend is very strong against it. So cautious with those level for buy. New Zealand CHF. So the daily is very impressive going down right there. We have a nice zone of supply right here. And this would be the first level for a sell. On the weekly side, we add an impressive move like on all New Zealand pair right here, and it will reach the bottom of this move. So there is a level for a buy because this will be the bottom of a very impressive move on the weekly there. So all New Zealand have eventually a, a possible reversal happening and the strong impressive move going to the level might just be a fake. A fake, and here there is a huge, huge, huge round number just below that. So this round number likely will hold for a while. New Zealand yen. So the weekly is clean going down, but it has been taken, spiked a lot. So the impressive move on the weekly from here to here is impressive, created a new low, taking out this one and this one. So this is a weekly downtrend for sure. There was a spike to the round number, but the zone above hasn't been touched and eventually this zone hasn't been touched. That's where eventually I would like to sell. And on the daily, the movie that is a little bit messy, but it respected the do theory retracement from here to here and rejected this. So we might see a fall as well from there. USD CAD, USD CAD, we are in a trade. So we will look at the weekly chart, explain why there is this trade. So this trade is very nice because there was a huge weekly impressive move going up, breaking this high. And the previous move on the uptrend was from here all the way to here. Let me make it some clarity. From here, that's the impressive move of the uptrend. And we are still in this uptrend retracement. Now we can see prices going dangerously down and there is like a double bottom, which means liquidity. So price, what price might do is take the liquidity, continue to fall down and go to this zone of demand right here, which will collide with the 200 EMA on the weekly. So this would make sense for sure for, for price to continue to fall down. Now, last week was not able to close below the 50 EMA, which is right here. And it's a strong level of support on the weekly. So this level makes me think that it might hold for a while. Uh, I have a three reward right here, just waiting. And I have eventually like a six, six or seven reward right here. So overall, it will be like a four reward to risk ratio for this trade, half of the trade on each. And the move going up is, is quite encouraging. We had a very beautiful angle thing bullish here. And after that, retraced exactly to the entry. And then after, we have a huge move with this beautiful candle going up, nearly the size of this one, which makes me hope that the first target will be hit for sure. And the second is actually my level for a sell. So why is it a level for a sell there? I will just show you. On the daily, on the daily, we have a beautiful opportunity for a sell. So last week, I uh, rejected the level that I had already, but it made a fake out and it was complicated to re-enter this trade. So we couldn't catch this one, which is a shame, but that's the way it is. And we have now a beautiful impressive move going down on the daily. So this is the kind of move you want to take for a sell uh, to, follow, to follow this impressive move. And there is a huge zone of resistance right here like one, two, three, four, five rejection, and a line chart rejection plus uh, six, six rejection before it was able to break this level. Um, additional to that, there is a two candle who made the top right here of this move. So I would expect the price to go there, but with difficulty and then to reject exactly from there going down. So that's for USD CAD, a buy for now that happened on Thursday or Friday? Yeah, Friday, it happened on Friday. There was a loss before it, you can see, with very, very tight stop loss right here. And this one was a loss. And after that, there was this huge angle thing. So this, this one was a beautiful trade for entry. I can review with you how we entered this one, so you know. 
So during London Open price break this high, so that was the first entry at the top of this candle making the low. And this one made like two reward and then retrace and break it. So once this happened, we waited to see an impressive move, uh, something significant, tell you it's nice to buy. And to buy the candlestick who made the low on the 15 minute chart is this candlestick and it's very, very big. So what I checked was the candlestick who took the liquidity, which is this one. And this candlestick taking the liquidity, the top of this candle was my entry. And you can see that price retraced exactly to the pip to this candle and then flew high in a very nice fashion. So this was a perfect way to enter the trade. Not at the candle before it, but at the candle who took the liquidity of these lows right there. This is a candle who did that. So this is smart money concept from ICT and it's working pretty, pretty nicely in combination with the volume at price. If you don't have the volume at price, honestly, your win rate drop very, very significantly. So USD CHF. So this one, I was expecting the price to touch my level and it didn't. Uh, and I waited this level because this level was a weekly strong volume at price level. And what we can see is some kind of a double bottom here. So I would expect this liquidity to be taken out. And above it, we have some nice zone of demand right here and right here, plus a round number in the middle. And my level is here in the middle with the round numbers of 50 MA, and it's the zone of inefficiency where the price haven't been able to get there. And this was a previous level of support. So I would expect to sell here and eventually to buy if it makes something significant at the bottom. This will be counter trend, of course. Now on the daily chart, we have an impressive move for the last three days, four days right here. So those two levels seem very nice. Now, once this is done, we have like a compression here. So this is not the safest zone to take a trade for a sell, but still there is a huge zone of support right here, uh, transforming into resistance in this zone. That's why I have this level. And on the weekly chart, it's a clean impressive move going down here. You can check, you can see it cleanly on the weekly from here to here, it's a clean impressive move going down. But there is a lot of spikes taking the liquidity inside of it. So the untouched zone is right here. That's why I have this level right here. And eventually on the top, there is an untouched zone as well. And I wait for this weekly zone of support to be touched here, which hasn't. USD yen. So this one is a bit uh, messy. The trend is not clean in both direction, up or down. Uh, the weekly, the weekly made a retracement of two candles here, was not able to get it. So we are still in a weekly downtrend and the weekly seems to hold still, which makes me think there is good probability for a sell around this level of resistance right here. And I will zoom in a bit to show you. So this level of resistance, remember from the left right there, is also the bottom of the candle prior to the move down and the body of the candle made the top. And there is a huge round number as well here. So this is a weekly. If we zoom on the daily, we can see like a channel with liquidity. So stop losses are above those, but the trend is still up. And there is huge spike here. So there is liquidity. I would expect this liquidity to be taken out. So break a little bit the round number, go above a little bit the round number. And from there, I would still expect to sell. Uh, this might just be like a, a daily uh, time frame. I mean, time of the trade, not something like you can hold more than that, but it looks like to be a good trade still. USD Mexican peso. Oh, this touched the bottom. It's interesting. So we are on, around the candlestick. Oh, that's an interesting pattern, actually. This might fly up very, very significantly. Um, so what do we get? We get a huge impressive move going up right there, OK? And then around the bottom, it didn't touch the candlestick who made the low, which is this one. And aside of that, it made a double top, a double bottom, sorry, here to induce liquidity. And now it just touched it this morning. 
but it's usually MXM, so I don't think it will take move during the Asian session. Yeah, and the trend is heavily, heavily down. See, the the fifteen minute chart trend. So I don't think there would be a, an action taken now, and I will wait since we are talking about USD Mexican peso. I will wait two nights during New York to take action eventually on this one if it does make us give us an opportunity to trade. But there is a liquidity inducement from those two bottom right here. 20 below. So this looks like a safe trade and the price is kind of weak to go down at this point. So I would wait eventually for midday on London and beginning of New York to check if there is a nice pattern, a break on the trend on the 15 minute chart with some impulse move showing me they want to buy. But we also know that um, USDMXN is not making so much impressive move before it take off like this one. See, it's not so much of a big impressive move going up, but it still breaks the high. And then after that, these moves take off and make a winning trade. And it did a lot of time already. So this in this fashion, with not so much strong move breaking the trend. And after that, there is usually huge moves that's happening. So interesting trade for today. Just be careful, we're Monday. The USD czar, so the daily trend was from here to here and then broke up, okay? So this is an uptrend now on the daily. We are at a significant level of support from this zone. And now uh, I would expect the price to go a little bit further than that because this is like a too obvious level of support and price made a double bottom right here, one, two. So I would expect the price to really go down further and then lift up from there. Now, if we look at the weekly trend, the weekly trend is up. The previous high right here was broken. So we have an angle thing here two weeks ago. So I would expect this to, to hold and to continue to go up. And this is this level is confirmed with this daily level of support as well. And there is there will be the 20 MA reaching there this week as well. UK, uh, okay, there was a trade here, but the spread is a bit big and it's UK. So we will wait this afternoon to take action. So what happened here? This one is beautiful because the uptrend on the daily was right there and then broken down, break this low and this low there. And then on daily, we can see there is a range, a nice range, a lot of volume there, and then a zone of supply before a huge drop. And this zone is untouched, okay? Now price is at this level of resistance as well. Resistance multiple time here. And I think we add, uh, yeah, we had a chain in the trend on the 15 minute chart. So it reached back to the candle made the top right here. Those two levels basically are the entry of the trade. But I would just wait for London open this afternoon because this there is not so much liquidity created before the level. Yes. So maybe price will make a fake, a new high near this one. And then after it takes the liquidity during London and then fall. But this, this level for a sell is a good level. So I need to be careful today. US 30, there is a kind of a, the same level just above. SP 500, uh, it's quite far. I'm on a daily uptrend, so I want to buy around this low right here, which is higher probability. GPY 225, we have a daily move up. There was still this impressive move going down that breaks this low. So there is still a chance that the price will reject this high. That's where it is right now. Now the weekly is still an uptrend. So as that's why I would expect this, this low to work as a buy opportunity right here. We are at the end of this swing trading weekly analysis. I wish you success with those level. Have a nice week. See you next Monday. Bye everyone.